Today I want to talk to you about using the razor sharp edge making system and using it to sharpen your pocket knives. I'm using the, the 8 inch razor sharp system and I've mounted it onto a 5 inch bench grinder. You can use a 5 inch, 6 inch or even an 8 inch grinder as you need. But I do recommend that you have the wheels bigger than the grinder. That way when you're pulling the knife across you're not bumping into the motor with your hands. So give that extra clearance. It gives you a little bit more flexibility on working around the grinder. So the set consists of two different wheels. The coarse wheel, is on, I put it on the left. The polishing wheel, I put it on the right. This one has silicon carbide grit, about 150 grit. And so this is kind of the coarse wheel. So if, you ha if your knife is slightly nicked or it's rounded over or it has some damage done to it, you can work it on this wheel first, and then you come over on this side and polish it off. If you maintain your tools, you really don't need to use this wheel as often and you come over here frequently and just polish it off. And by doing that, it helps your blades last a lot longer. So I'll show you on this. Turn the tool on. We're going to first put a little bit of wax on the grit wheel. The wax helps to dilute the, the abrasiveness so that it's not, so it won't heat up your blade. And if this right here, it, the next step is trying to find the proper angle for your, for your knife. If this right here is 90 degrees to the wheel, Half of that at 45 is where you would sharpen hatchets and axes and different things. Halfing that again to around 22 degrees is normally where you'd sharpen most of your pocket knives. Carving tools can be sharpened anywhere from around 18 degrees to about 20 degrees. So normally if it's a, if it's a good quality blade, follow the manufacturer's um, bevel that's already been placed on the tools. So my pocket knife, I'm, I'm going to take this and holding that at about a 22 degree bit angle, I'll take this across, being cautious to go from one edge all the way to the other, and I come back over here and go back the same direction. Now I'm looking down the face of that wheel to make sure that it's making contact right there in the bevel. And if you're ever uncertain what you're actually taking off, take a black magic marker and, and mark it on the edge make your pass with it and you can tell exactly what's coming off. So with this I want to sharpen it going side to side until I get what's called a wire edge. Normally depending on the, on the hardness of the steel, how dull the knife is, and some other factors will determine how many passes you actually need to make. Now I mentioned before that we're looking for that wire edge. A wire edge is where your two points have met and it pushes a little bit of metal onto the other side and it creates a little bit of a burr. Once you have that burr or that wire edge from one edge to the other, you want to stop on this wheel and come over to the polishing side and, and polish it right off. So normally you can feel that wire edge, make one more pass with it. There we go. Now I can feel it from one edge all the way to the other. So I'll come over to this other wheel. I'm going to charge it with a little bit of polishing compound. I mean, there's several compounds on the market. And it comes with the white rouge, and that's what we'll use. Flex cut makes a flex cut gold. You can use that. I've seen some other people use some uh, some green compound. Um, just check your results. The white so far has worked great for me. Now I take it and going side to side, because remember what we're trying to do here is we're trying to take off that wire edge. So we're taking that back and forth like this until eventually it gets thin enough where it falls right off. So I'll take this, holding it at the exact same angle, and go from one edge all the way out to the other. And normally what I'll do is around five or six times on each side, will normally give you a, a plenty sharp edge, but you should be able to shave with this and normally with only a, a, a minute or two of, of sharpening time. By doing that, I get a very mirror edge on, on, the, on the edge of my blade, the bell of my blade, and that thing is good and sharp. So that's how you sharpen your, your pocket knife using the razor sharp edge making system sold at Treeline USA.